Josie. Tonight, people in uh, cast, we're going crafting. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Get all your crafting supplies out because I'm going to help you make something to make wearing your brace even better and easier. Yesterday, I decided Fourth of July is coming around and I wanted to be in on the fun. Can't wear uh, jewelry and everything like I normally do. So I made myself a nice, really tacky, awful looking uh, long necklace. I don't have time to teach you that tonight, but what I'm going to show you is something to help you. It's hot out there in July, and when you wear this brace, I don't know if you've gone outside much, but I can tell you this material in here gets really gooky, and you just want to come home and take it off and just get clean. So, this is what you're going to have to do. It's really easy, actually. Take a washcloth when you're not in a clean one. Please use a clean one. You fold it with a little corner in the front. Can you see this? That goes in the end under. Well, you got to take your brace off, and I'm not going to do that right now. But you lay it on the front. Then you take another washcloth. Clean one again. Ta-da! Fold it over a little bit of back. It goes in the back of your brace. Velcro the bad thing on you. And you really, it will help absorb the heat and the sweat and you'll feel a lot more comfortable. I really hope you like that one. But, that's not the only craft I got for you tonight. It's going to be a quick night tonight. Eventually, you're going to graduate to a soft collar. Yay! Everybody say yay! Soft collar! Yay! 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 Now, you're allowed to wear the soft collar. It too, especially in this heat and humidity, um, unless you're in Minnesota right now and it's 60 degrees, but you can still sweat even in those temperatures. You want to take this soft collar and, of course, keep it clean. If you wear it all the time, it's going to get dirty. Now, as much as I like to make things, and people know I like to make things, don't really have time to crochet a cover or a little slip-on bag for it. Came up with an easier solution. Everybody out there, not just in America, but across the world, has a pile of these. They're called odd socks. So, grab yourself some odd socks and you're going to look for a particular one. Now anybody who knows me like those I like to wear fun zany colored socks. Here's some good fun Easter ones I found. Probably not the best choice in covering your you know fashion statement here that you're going to be wearing your soft collar. Be fun. Really would be fun. But a lot of times socks they have a lot of polyester in them. So what we're going to do we're going to look for a pair of long tube socks. One more time. Long tube socks. The best thing about using a tube sock is there's no heel in it to interfere because that would kind of look funny sticking out in your um, collar. So we're going to have to practice uh, scrumple it up here. Get all the way to the end, fingers fingers all the way to the toe. Very good, see? And you slip it on. When they're, when they're long tube socks, I, I will tell you, it's a little bit more difficult. But if I can do it, you can do it, okay, folks out there in Cyberland? If we've dressed babies, or American Girl dolls, or, you know, some people like to dress their puppies, Look here, watch this. Once you get the toe in, pull it all the way through. Now, the true advantage of using a man's, usually a man's sock, is that one sock will be long enough to cover the entire soft cast. Then you want to go, there's two sides, of course, and if you use little hands up here and feel, you can feel where the Velcro is. And that's the part, you know, that keeps it on your neck nice and safe. Here's where your handy dandy scissors come in. Woohoo! 
only crafting supply you need tonight besides your socks. Uh, even though I'm left-handed, I cut right-handed. Find your place in the back and you can feel the sock material is trying to stick to the Velcro, so that's a good thing. Just pull it out a little bit, make a little snip, be careful your little fingers there. Cut a little bit more maybe. You don't have to cut a whole lot. Doesn't really don't have to because it's gonna stretch. You have made half of your project already. Turn it over. Feel once again. You're gonna find the strap. See how I'm pulling it there? That's where the strap ends. Now, you don't want to cut the strap, so make sure your fingers over that. And you're gonna pull it out again. Make a sideways cut. Everybody see that? Get a hole like a little mouse. Hi there! I'm a sock, but I'm now a, a uh, brace cover. Reach inside there and pull out his little tongue. Voila! You have created an instant brace cover that you can now remove and wash at your leisure. I bet you not everybody is going to have this at the parties you go to, but you are going to thank me for coming up with this. Come on. Where was Martha Stewart? It took me to come up with this one. Y'all have a good night. See you on another time.